What's going on, guys? It's Chris here at Chris's RC Getaway. I definitely got a surprise. I was uh, getting ready to do a video on the old I'm a Granite Grom again because it's such a little beast. And uh, I went to turn it on. And from today's Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to all those mothers out there. And so anyways, as soon as I turned it on, the steering was all wacky. Um, I guess I could have just showed you on the video, but I'm just telling you about it because I've decided not to use it. Because I come home from work a day after I started the video and had a box sitting on the sitting in the house. I didn't know what it was. I haven't ordered anything. And lo and behold, it's a brand new one, guys. And I really didn't order it. And it's the green one, which is the one I wanted when I ordered this one. But they were all out of stock. So I ordered a different one. So it's just crazy how that happened. And so I'm not going to do a full unboxing on it, obviously, because you everybody's seen it a million times and uh i've already done it obviously but this thing's a friggin beast guys all metal all metal drum oil filled shocks metal gears in the servo i just think um because i i sent it a whole bunch of times landing it hard so obviously it just Killed the servo. But anyways. Let's get this thing out of the box guys. Alright guys. Let's get a freaking tour out of the box here. If I can figure it out. There we go. Nice. Look at that. What a beautiful day out it is. Get on. Oil filled shocks. I love it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at the shine, look at the shine. I'm gonna get that battery charged up and we are gonna rip this little beast. Check it out, check it out guys. Comes, I mean, it's ready to go. Comes with the batteries for the remote, a little charger, it's a little spectrum charger. Comes with some, uh, Preload clips, the Allen wrench, and the SLT2. Sorry about the glare, guys. And uh, yeah, get the bat, get the uh, body off. There's the battery. I love it too. It's got these little spots right there. You can put the little wires in so the wires aren't all flapping around this thing's an awesome little setup i didn't even bother making the other one brushless guys i mean this goes pretty fast i'll show you i'm gonna send her off the new ramp i got we're gonna do some back flips hopefully some front flips too heck friggin yeah I got a little idea here of a uh, ramp to ramp type deal situation. Bam! I'm a granite grom. Friggin' these are such little beasts. Alright, I got a, my new ramp set up here. And it's a good distance across the driveway. I don't know, guys. We're going to try it in a minute, though. Got the big ramp on this side. I don't know if I can get full rip down the sidewalk and hit her right. We might get lucky. <laughs> Thing's a little ripper. Oh. Woo! Jeez, 
course, it's a long ways. It's <laughs> probably asking way too much of this little beast. Well, you gotta hit it first. Sound too good. Nice. think about this little beast anyways everybody else keeps turning it brushless I don't know I think it's plenty fast enough crazy durable and look at that just rips and that's just a little 2s battery it's only like 30c 
get something that's like ADC. This way we can even tear stuff up. Send it like that all day. This is such a perfect little rip spot for stuff like this. Right in the front ditch. <laughs> baby sweet look at that and I've taken it out a lot so when it does break I think it's justified you know it is a big heavy rig but the X max breaks a lot too you know Sometimes it don't. Sometimes it goes on for a long time and doesn't break. Other times it breaks every every single time out. Oh, that was rough. Oh, it's not broke. Haha! <laughs> Sweet! See, that's why I changed the shocks. These shocks are awesome. I believe they're off of the, uh, oh, what was it? The MJX HyperGo. Woo! <laughs> I just can't get over how good this little truck goes. Controllable. And I still have air control. I mean, obviously it's a tiny, tiny truck, so you're gonna get bounce. I could try landing it on the tar, I guess, and hope it doesn't break. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm landing on the tar here, guys. Let me, uh, I do have, see, these are adjustable collars, so give me a second here. It's easier with the hood off. It's, uh, Adjust these collars down. Get the hood back on this beast. Yeah, ready to rip. Still recording? Yep. Standing up much taller now. <laughs> oh, sweet. Look at that friggin' little beast. I'm a granite grom. And Arma seems to always really hit it out the park. 
The only other truck I've seen come out from Traxxas lately, which you haven't had to do a whole ton of upgrades, just to freaking take it out, is um, I watched Thunder put that new uh, Max Slash. He puts that thing through it. He says, whoa! And it just takes it. Woo, baby. Nice. And obviously I had to do a bunch of editing. I cut out a bunch of boring parts where I kept changing the ramps around and stuff. Nice. Full rip. <laughs> this takes it all day, guys. Until eventually it will break. I mean, it's just a given. But like on the other one I had, the only thing that gave out was the steering servo. When you turned it right and let go, it would just go all the way left immediately. But that's from doing what I'm doing right now. So you have to... You have to justify that stuff. I mean, electronics are only going to be slammed into the ground, guys, so many times. So you have to, I mean, for me, it's what I do. I just, I fully understand that it could be the first jump, or I could be able to take it out a hundred times. You just never know with electronics. But if this is the kind of bashing you do, you have to expect it, I think. For me, anyways. Woo! Ah! Holy frig! This thing's awesome, guys. I'm definitely going to get one of the... The, uh... I'm a Typhon Grom. Oh! Man, he gets some good distance with this little beast. And it holds good power for a good long time. Plus, if I, if I just cut the plug off it, and solder on a Dean's connector. I've got a bunch of other 2S batteries. And I have, I got two fatty packs, 2S batteries that are, uh, they're like 1300 milliamps, but they're, the C rating is way higher than the battery that's in it right now. And it probably would, I don't think it'll go like top speed faster, but it would definitely uh, wheelie everywhere. Uh, well, there you have it guys I'm a granite grom brushed just a ripper what an absolute little friggin animal just leave it brushed guys no need to make it brushless just get a little bit bigger battery she's a beast Put a fan on it. It's got a heat sink on the motor. Pretty sweet. This is Chris's RC Getaway, guys. Like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. See you on the next rip.